Hi everybody, Carl and Harrison at Escape Trailer here. We welcome you to this walkthrough on the base items. So this is a base items walkthrough review. Of course, something to remember. In an Escape Trailer, the base items mean you can go camping today with all the base items that are in our trailer. You, you, you can purchase the base trailer without needing to upgrade or, or customize anything. And even within the base trailer at Escape, you still get the option to personalize it with our seven choices of fabric flooring and formica, and then the trim and and the wood choices and the wood choices as well as well. So you can make your trailer your own, even at a base level, without having to get into the the optional upgrade path. Now there will be a link below that take you to look at the options. We've done a similar video to this where we do an options walkthrough. As well as that, we will have layouts. So the layouts will show you where all the plugs and light fixtures and things can go. And yeah. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Let's get started. Okay, let's get going. Personalization. So within personalization, we have the first choice, which is the custom wood interiors. And there are three types of wood or three types of interior that you can choose. We'll go through this in a little bit of detail because it's important for people to understand the differences. So oak. In the oak trailer, the walls of the trailer are made from Maranti plywood, or sometimes called Luan plywood. It's a light plywood and it's finished with a photo finish and a photo finish is an oak photo finish and that photo finish um, quite nicely matches the doors and all the doors of all the cabinetry in this trailer are solid oak and on the bottom they're solid inlay panels and on the top they're also solid panels so they're entirely solid doors that we have for the oak trailer. Definitely, so a nice warm look, warm classic look to the trailer. And then yeah, the second sure. uh, is our second choice that we offered for wood is maple. Yeah, maple is a little bit of a lighter color, brings uh, brings out some more brightness in the trailer. Very similar. So the maple uh, walls are again a Luan or a Maranti board or plywood, photo finished in a maple photo finish, right? And it matches quite nicely with the doors and the doors again are solid maple a slight difference between maple and oak so the doors are solid maple on the bottom they are completely solid all the way through and on the top we have a, an inlay sort of a perspex inlay plastic sort of um translucent, Gray translucent inlay inlay on the top and we'll show some pictures of these to you and then you have contemporary and this is our latest and greatest we just introduced it yeah contemporary is definitely the brightest of all of them we had a lot of folks that were asking us for a whiter style interior so we've come up with the contemporary we'll have a look and see what that looks like the contemporary very much follows the maple in so much as the doors are maple so we just take our maple doors and we paint them with white and then so the doors on the bottom are solid and the doors on the top have that sort of plastic translucent um, perspex inlay in them and it just adds a little bit of color a little bit of change just changes things up a little bit um, in the trailer and of course we do have customers who themselves go ahead and put led lights and things in the in the back of their cabinets just to get a nice sort of um, glow coming through the the cabinets high grade rolled vinyl flooring you have seven different choices for the flooring in your escape trailer for mica counter and tabletops you have seven different standard choices for your counters and your tabletops trim and that's the piece that goes around your countertops or around your table we got four different choices of that you can have black dark brown cream or white white of course fabric you also have seven choices of fabric and we'll have a look and see what these are right here now you then have the choice to mix and match all of this together so you can pick whichever fabric whichever flooring whichever formica and whichever trim you like to make your trailer your own okay let's talk about the chassis and this is what your trailer sits on top of okay so the axle one of the most important uh, features of your trailer this is what the wheels end up being mounted onto so the axle is 3500 pound torsion bar system so a torsion rubber ride suspension system so there's no leafs and springs on our trailers uh, makes for a very nice uh, comfortable ride in the trailer and dexter who provide these access to us have been very good in providing us a video we're going to link that in here for you electric brakes so each axle on your trailer comes with two 10 by two and a quarter inch electric drum brakes easy lube axles Easy lube axles is what it says. It makes it very easy to lube the axles on your trailer. Safety chains and breakaway switch. Safety chains are an important feature and a legal requirement 
on your trailer. So we have those safety chains already attached for you. You will use those safety chains to crisscross them and then attach them onto the hitch of your vehicle. There is also a breakaway switch and this breakaway switch will activate when it is disengaged from the trailer. So if the trailer and the vehicle were to disengage from each other, this will activate and apply the electric brakes that are on your trailer. Okay, balanced 15 inch radial tires and steel rims. So these tires are um, ST205, 75R15, eight ply, they're bolt on pattern, which is five on four and a half inch. And the lug nuts are 13 sixteenths and they are non-locking. And these are the only tires we provide. There is no option for different tires. Full size spare tire with cover. So of course, because it is full size, it has the exact same specifications of the other tires on your unit. And it comes with a nice Canadian maple leaf cover with a scape trailer on it. And that's the only cover we have. So <laughs> that's the cover it comes with. Front and rear stabilizer jacks. You have two at the front, two at the rear. They have a three quarter inch socket and they come with a provided tool. And you lower these to help stabilize side to side movement in the trailer. Okay, exterior. Manual awning. I really do like the manual awning myself. It is a carefree manual awning. We have a video here in the background of how you lower it down or set it up. And with this, what I really like about it is that it has these two arms and you can lower one side relative to the other to have rain run off the side. And although principally your awning is a sunshade, it is nice to have that ability. And you can disconnect these arms from the body of the trailer and stake them down to the ground as well. Thermal double glazed framed windows with screens. So these are on horizontal sliders and you get a lot of nice airflow through those big openings. And for a rear framed window, it is a fixed window so it will not open. Dual 20 pound propane tank with auto change regulator and cover. So of course these are two 20 pound propane tanks. They have the regulator and they have the auto change over valve. So what you can do is you can set it to one tank. It'll run that tank all the way down to zero and then switch over to the next automatically. And it also has what I would call like a binary readout where it'll be green if it's, if it's got gas in it and it'll be red if it's empty. And it also comes with a cover. Exterior access hatch. These hatches allow you to access from the exterior to the interior of the trailer. And for all these standard and optional locations, be sure to check the floor plan documents. Oh, and they're also lockable. And they are lockable. Yeah. Exterior bubble levels. Very nice handy little feature to enable you to level your trailer properly when you're either at a campsite or more importantly, when you're towing. Exterior grab handle. This just helps you to get in and out of the trailer a little bit easier. Front rock guard. Front rock guard are a couple of vinyl pieces that we attach to the front bottom sides of the trailer just to protect the trailer from damage from flying rocks and things off the road. Front window with rock shield, and this is a non-thermal and also a non-opening window. And when it comes to the thermal capabilities of the window, it does have that rock guard. And when that rock guard comes up, of course it's not insulated, but when the rock guard comes down, that forms an air pocket and that serves as your insulation. Sewer hose and storage compartment. Of course, a sewer hose is there to empty your sewage tank, your black tank, and your gray tanks. And um, we have a nice handy storage compartment that we locate at the rear of the trailer on the exterior. Single entry step. So this is a nice step that you can put in or pull it out when you need it to get in and out of the trailer just that little bit easier. Mud flaps. Yes, we have them and they say escape. Two inch bike receiver with 150 pound capacity. So this is exactly what it sounds like. It's a two inch receiver with 150 pound capacity. This cannot be used for double towing and just for bikes. Okay, interior. 12,000 BTU furnace. This is powered through propane, but the fan itself and the ignition for the furnace are powered by 12 volt, which is your batteries. Twelve volt demand water system. This is your twelve volt water pump. Called a demand water system because you have the option or the ability to turn it on and off when you need. And the switch to turn it on and off is located above your kitchen area, and it's also coupled in the same space where we see your tank level monitoring system. This also has a winterizing T valve, and essentially what this allows you to do is you can pull from either your fresh water tank or from a hose which you would put into your antifreeze to winterize your system and we have a video on this as well. So the winterizing T-valve allows you to more easily winterize your system by pulling antifreeze through that pipe. 
two burner flush mount stainless steel cooktop with glass cover. So it has a glass cover, stainless steel body, and piezoelectric ignition. The maximum and minimum pan sizes are in the upper right corner. It's just a very nice unit to do some cooking inside your trailer. Four inch high density cushions. So the cushions themselves are four inches deep. But one point to note is the fabric on one side will be the fabric you have chosen. The fabric on the rear will be vinyl. So it won't be a fabric, I guess it'll be a vinyl. Yeah, it'll yeah. be a vinyl, be a which is nice. Part. You know, it's nice oh, it's if, you're, handy. Yeah, if you're going to the lake or if you yeah. have dogs inside the trailer, yeah. you can flip it around to the vinyl side, get it all dirty and wet, and then, you know, you once they're off there, off clean it off. Turn things easy. back around, yeah, pretty good. Three-way fridge, meaning that this fridge can be powered in one of three ways, either DC, which is your batteries, AC, which is shore power, or gas, which is propane, and you can switch these around at will. We would really only recommend that you power it off of either AC or gas. Okay, eight inch plush mattress. This is a sprung mattress. It's a custom mattress that we make, especially for escape trailer. Very nice, comfortable mattress, and we do have customers who purchase these mattresses themselves for their own homes. Definitely, it is not your standard RV mattress. It is really quite comfortable. Mm, yes. Two roof vents, and the front vent is actually the max fan. So this max fan is a very handy little tool. It'll enable you to either push or pull air from or into or out of your trailer. Um, it has variable speeds on it and also even has a specific temperature setting. So you can turn it on to automatic and then it will just control your trailer from there. The rear vent is essentially a, an open vent, but it's a weatherproof open vent. And that is the vent or the area that we would use to install an air conditioner, or you can install an air conditioner yourself afterwards. And this vent is pre-wired for an air conditioner. So even if you don't get an air conditioner from us, it can always be added later on down the road. And talking a little bit more about this vent, it has a bug screen and a cover. Yes. Okay, the kitchen window over the sink. Let's have a look at it. Counter extension off sink. So it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a nice little flip up counter extension that just gives you a little bit more counter space for food prep and things like that. For the standard and optional locations of these, be sure to check the floor plan document. Okay, draw down window shades with valances. So in every trailer you have a shade. It's a nice friction pull shade. You can pull it easily with one finger, pulls the shade up and down and they come with a nice valance on the top of it just to hide the top of the shade. And this volant matches with your fabric choice. Yes. Fiberglass enclosed bathroom with shower. So your wet bath, as it's called, area has your hand flush toilet. It has your shower. It also has a powered vent, so an electric vent in there to clear it out. Yeah, to clear out any hot, clear out. humid air. It also has a recessed mirrored medicine cabinet to store your shampoos, soaps, oh, pills, right. all those kinds of things. And there's an LED light as well. Yes. Uh, and this uh, bathroom comes with a shower curtain, so you can pull that shower curtain across. So when you're having a shower, it doesn't hit the door and maybe run down the inside of the door and out into the trailer. Microwave ready cabinet. So there is a cabinet inside your trailer which is ready for a microwave. And what that means is it has a single 120 volt outlet. So if you get a microwave from us, which is an option, we will put that microwave into that cabinet and plug it in and you lose the cabinet door. Otherwise, you can always put a microwave in later on down the road. Monitor panel with holding tank level indicator and battery strength indicator. This also has the on and off for your hot water tank and your water pump. And in terms of how this reads the tank's levels, it has three probes placed on the insides of each tank and it reads them in levels of empty, one thirds, two thirds, and full. Power range hood with light. So the range hood sits over your cooktop. It has a light and it will vent all those uh, fumes or smells from your cooking to the outside. Propane hot water tank. So of course this is powered only through propane. This is a six gallon tank to heat your water. We do not have an instantaneous tank heater option. Screen door. So inside your main door, there is also a screen door. The screen door is very handy. You can leave the main door open and have the screen door closed or you can have them open and close uh, stuck both together. 
stainless steel sink, faucet, and sink cover. So the sink cover itself is actually finished with your Formica of choice. You have a stainless steel sink and the dimensions are on the upper right corner and a stainless steel residential style faucet. So it has the two modes for a sprayer or just one big stream of water and it can also be put to the side just to create a little bit more countertop space. Yeah, it's a J-style, J-style uh, faucet. Under seat storage, exactly what it sounds like. You can lift up your seats to access the storage underneath. And they're hinged. And they're hinged. Wrap around overhead compartments. So in your trailer, certainly in the dinette area, it wraps around on the top and the doors themselves can be are, are held open with a gas strut. electrical 120 volt exterior outlet so this is powered through shore power only and it allows you to access 120 volt power from outside the trailer 120 volt interior outlets so the 120 volt interior outlets in your trailer are powered from shore power in our options and upgrades you can have an inverter installed and that inverter will take power from your batteries and convert it up to 120 volts for use inside your trailer when you're boondocking 12 volt slash USB interior outlets. This is kind of a combination and these are powered directly from the batteries. It has one 12 volt outlet and you can kind of imagine this like the, the cigarette lighter in your car. And then you have two USB A outlets and these can be used to charge phone, speakers, really anything that can take USB. Yeah. 55 amp converter slash battery charger. So exactly like I said, it's a converter. It converts 120 volt power coming in from your shore power to 12 volt power to charge your battery safely. Your fuse box is also located here as well. 25 foot, 30 amp power cord. So this cord is attached to the inside of your trailer with an exterior port where we can pull it out. So you'll pull that cord out, plug it in when you're at a campsite and that'll then power your trailer. We also have a 120 volt adapter that comes with the trailer. Yeah. Battery isolator switch. This is a very important piece of equipment in your trailer. What it does is it disconnects all power from the battery. And remember in your trailer, when you have your propane detector and your smoke detector, these items are connected to your battery. They will continue to draw power. So when you're shutting down for the winter, or even if you're shutting down for a few weeks, just flip the battery isolator switch. Deep cycle battery, this is a 12 volt lead acid battery, offers about 94 or 95 amp hours in total. If you're planning on boondocking, you would really be wise to look at our battery options. LED interior and exterior lights. So as far as the interior lights goes, they run through the center of the trailer or on the side. So at the dinette or the bed or the kitchen. And then for the exterior lights, you have one on the passenger side, just to the left of the entry door. And then on the driver's side, you have another light located just above your dump valves. Safety and fire protection. Carbon monoxide and smoke detector. This is just one unit located inside your trailer. Fire extinguisher. Your trailer does come with a fire extinguisher. Oversized emergency exit window. Each trailer has an oversized emergency exit window that enables you to egress from the trailer in the event you can't get to the door. And the nice thing with this too is that it kind of has a latch which holds it open. Oh, it's great for ventilation. Yeah, great for ventilation or for the rain because you can have this window open in the rain and you have a lot less chance of water getting inside the trailer. Yes. Propane detector. Each trailer comes with a propane detector. Rear, upper, brake, and signal lights. So these are just lights located at the rear of the trailer, of course, up at the top, and they just allow people up behind you to see what you're doing just that little bit easier. Holding tanks. Fresh water tank. Exactly what it sounds like. This holds your fresh water. Gray water tanks. Gray water tanks take the waste from your kitchen and from your bathroom. They cannot be filled or used as fresh water tanks. Your fresh and gray water tanks are located underneath the trailer on either side of the axles. Black water tank is located underneath your toilet and it holds your toilet waste. Thank you for watching this video on all the base items of your trailer. If you want to learn more about the options, be sure to watch the configuration options 
walkthrough, very similar format to this video that you've just watched. If you want to learn more, you have a few options. First, we offer personal video tours. We will take you through our showroom. You can ask any questions you like, and it really is a fantastic way to learn more about our trailers in a very nice, relaxed format. Of course, you can visit escapetrailer.com as well, or you can email us at sales at escapetrailer.com. Thanks for watching. Harrison and Carl from Escape Trailer, and we're built for you.